I knew something stinky going on here, bro. I smelt it. I smell. Hey, what you doing? Hey, hey, what you doing? Hey, you know, hey, you know what you get for killing the cop? You get the chair. You want the chair? <laughs> What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Oh, it's all what up? Oh shoot! Y'all gonna do this in the building like in a nice establishment like this? You know why I plump for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. It's time for change. Jack's across the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side. Christ, what was that? Explosion. Damn! What go down, everybody? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to some more L.A. Noir. You know what I'm saying? Now, last we left off, man, things were getting pretty, pretty good. Not just pretty good, but really, really good, all right? My boy Phelps then came up with the, with the ultimate plan, which I hope actually works. You know what I'm saying? But the ultimate plan, and by the way, I hope this plan don't get his girl, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get her, get her, get her, get her knocked off, bro, because that's just, that's just going to be real tragic. Um, So hopefully she's safe. Um. During all this, but you, you know, said my boy Cole came up with a plan. I'm coming, lady. Just relax. I'm talking to the people, all right? Relax. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 you know what I'm saying? But hopefully, my boy, my boy Cole playing work. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like, I feel like we might get somewhere, man. This is this is actually pretty fire. They got us playing as a different detective right now. You know what I'm saying? And um, also another thing, y'all see how he was looking at his girl too, and looking at Elsa. Hey, yo, listen. Detective, calm Mr. down. Benson? She's already spoken for, man. Me? Don't get any funny ideas. Oh, yes. Jack, Welcome back, though, I'm everybody. Just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lickman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lickman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Ms. Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I think he. I can't make her take the money. Deal sir. with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Damn, you don't. You don't see none of this. Do is I strange? have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. I wouldn't have told nobody. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe he used to use this as a learning lesson, bro. <laughs> you just can't trust Your folks. Did you see Kelso? Thanks, kid. Go oh, straight like that, and we got this new, this blue, this nice blue. Hold on, that boy, Mister Kelso, got. Hold on, this, this type fire, this kind of fire right here. I like that. That, that blue kind of nice. I ain't even gonna lie. Ain't even gonna hold you. All right, Let's see what the hell we got going on up in here. It's a lot of strange things going on, bro. Listen, so my theory isn't wrong. Listen, from two episodes ago, y'all, when I'm like, bro, there's there's some That's dirty not how my cops. pops taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. When I told you I was some dirty cops, I was right. I was right. See, see, see. I know some people was like, nah, nah. Bill got to be talking out his ass. There ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? There, 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 there's nothing that says uh, there's some dirty cops here. How do I tell y'all, man? There's a lot. Starting again. And I sensed it a long, long time ago, bro. You could just tell someone right. Especially about that Roy guy, bro. I knew someone right about him. But what threw me off Leland the most... Monroe. The man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. What threw me off the most about Roy is that he was saying that he especially, like, he requested us to be transferred there. And I was just like... 
but why? Because something about you, you know, it stinks, bro. Like, you're dirty. Like, what's going on here for real, bro? And I started thinking to myself. But I just, I, th I still can't quite come up with the answer. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get hey, this real soon. You just can't real be walking soon. around down here. I'm Jack Kelso from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off. I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter. And you deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Oh, what you want to do there? You want to tussle? It's like you do. What you want to do? Hum, hum, hum. What you got? What you got? Come on. Ah, oh, you weak as hell. Ah, oh, who you swinging at, bro? right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's going to be trouble. Tru come on. Come on. Come on. Be for I came bro. to see the house <laughs> where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down to the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. Three houses down on the left. Um, me walking is crazy. I ain't even much gonna lie to you. Ugh. Figure this out. Oh, I ain't even got a horn? It's cool. One, two. Bam! <laughs> place falls down and then they bulldoze it what gives here i think you know what gives here something just ain't right jack something just ain't right and we gonna get to the bottom of it hmm it's got to be something here there's something here that we just aren't seeing i'm stuck Pushing the button, just, it just ain't nothing happening. There we go. Let's try to piece this together. All right, I got you. Nope. That's not right. Go ahead and put that one back. It's got to be this one, right? Keystone mm. Films. Who gets their lumber from a film studio? I'm trying to tell you, boy. I knew something stinky going on here, bro. I smelt it. I smelt. Hey, what you doing? Hey, hey, what you doing? Hey, you know, hey, you know what you get for killing the cop? You get the chair. You want the chair? Huh, 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 huh. Son of a bitch. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Don't do this! Don't. Oh shit! Oh shit! He tried to kill me. He tried to end my life. Oh, I ain't going. I ain't going down like that, bro. You ain't smushing me up like no mashed potatoes, bro. Hell no! Hell no! Mm. Listen. Listen. Come on, Jack. I ain't going out like no chump. Oh, shit. He's... You, you want the chair? I'm telling you, you get the chair for killing the cop. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I made it out. I made it out. Oh, you done, boy. You going downtown. You going downtown. In the hole. 25 to life. Attempted murder. First degree. Oh, shit. I ain't get out of here, bro. They tried to off me, bro. There's something, there's something going on around here, bro. They tried to off me. I'm calling the boys right now. Get out the way. Get out the way. I'm calling the boys. I'm letting them know everything that happened here. Someone take him home. He's loaded. Hey, girl, you get on, so freak ass. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... Six five eight North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Oh my goodness, I almost died. I was almost me, bruh. Y'all hear me? Y'all almost lost the view. <sighs> he tried to smash me. That man tried to smash me. I ain't going for none of it. None of it. Ah! Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Now look, now you shit on fire. Now you, that's what you get. Cause your dumb ass in the put out in front of me and just stop like that. They ain't even make no sense, bro. Get that, get that, get that. Drivers. Ooh. Ooh, did y'all get on my nerves where y'all drive, man. Fuck that piece of stand, bro. I'm gone. Don't do it. 
Don't do it, Bucko. Don't do it. Fuck at yourself. Get off the way. Fuck that trash can. Move. 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 Damn. Y'all like y'all don't see this this this, this big this big, big this, 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 damn this big blue car coming. Y'all can't get out the way. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Hey, bro. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. Why hop it? <laughs> Why hop it? <laughs> Uh, let's see what we can find around here, bruh. Screening room, huh? Oh, what do we got here, huh? Uh-huh. Wait. Slow it down. It's too slow. Gotcha. <laughs> In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and businessmen join forces to launch the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GI. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor, District Attorney Donald Sandler, and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen, I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Here, here, and it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? You cannot throw them up fast enough, Ray. And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now, that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds by the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean uh, our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise three billion dollars. I need to find a game well or a telephone. We own they ass. We own they ass. We own they ass. We own they ass! <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We on the ass. Come on. I like this right here. I like this right here. This the detective Jack. He get down and he get dirty. He, he gets the job done. He Operator ain't Los no Angeles games. Police Dispatch. If it's not too much trouble. Putting you through now. 
This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs. With green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buckwalter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Insane. Jack, you know what needs to be done. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around nine. I'll be waiting at the stage door. Thanks for your help. And don't suppose I'll make a plea. Cause, baby, you know I'm guilty. I don't think Cole like that. <laughs> what were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's plan. not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risk. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. Damn. This story kind of getting crazy. I ain't even going to lie to y'all, man. Hey, uh, Cole, what, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 <laughs> Hey, what was you doing, man? I don't even know if that's PG! I don't know how I feel about this, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, bro. You don't find this a little strange, a little suspicious? Let's see. Let's do it right here. Hello? It's light coming from upstairs. There's no one here. Where's that light coming from? But... Ah, over there. You lose something, Mac? 
Oh, how y'all doing? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Whoa, whoa, what's Looks up with all like the guns? The repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Oh, it's I wanna bitch! It's I wanna do that! Come on! Come on! Hush! Hush! Tough acts easy. Damn, come on! Come on! Come on! Three of y'all wanted me! You know what you get for Time trying to kill a cop? You get the tear! You get the tear! Hum! 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 Hush! Hush! Hum! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hey, what y'all closing in for? What y'all closing in for? Come here, come here, come here. Sit down. Stay asleep. Next, line the next one up. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get. Oh, damn. Damn. Ah. Ah. Till. Till. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. What y'all gonna do to me, man? What y'all mean? <sighs> I hear Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Mr. Yeah, Hall? I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Oh, hell no. I know you ain't talking about Elsa. Y'all, 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 hold on, hold on. Everybody just calm down. Everybody just calm down. I just be. Dumbasses forgot to lock the trunk. Hold on. Hello, what y'all doing? Elsa. <laughs> oh shit, they shoot! They shoot! They shoot! Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me, ma'am! Excuse me, ma'am! Don't leave! Don't leave! I need that vehicle! I need that vehicle! Fuck out my way, boy. I don't know what you thought this Sorry, was, but I'm gone! Desperate times. Oh shit! Oh shit! Don't do this! Eh. Ah! I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's a good thing they had a terrible shot. Because that would have been bad. That would have been real bad. Ah! Chill. I got some people that want me dead. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. We're going to be all right. I don't see nothing in the rear view. I don't see nothing in my forward view. My side view. My other side view. I think we all right. We lost them. Now we just gotta hurry up and get to our destination. Ah! Hey! My bad! Oh, now my car running a little funky. Even my car. I hope he got insurance. Oh, shit. I'm good, though. It's still rolling. It's a little wiggly, but the, the wheel's still rolling. That bitch inverted. It is. I ain't gonna lie. I'm jumping this bitch. We good. We good. Folks tried to end my life. They tried to put me in the truck and they tried to take me, bro. I wasn't going for none of it. Elsa. Elsa. Uh, uh. I'm coming. I'm on my way. I'm on my way.
you do, hey, bro. This woman is in danger. You worry about not, 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 not only that, but she's already spoken for. Jack, all right, all right. So stop trying to get all, 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 all fancy and looking good. Just get in there and make sure she all right. She already spoken for, it, man. That boy Cole came quick. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole. Damn! For God's sake, Cole. Call an ambulance. Okay, that's just cap. Two thousand dollars, six hundred eighty-three. Two two thousand six hundred eighty-three dollars worth of vehicle damage. That's some bull. Forty dollars worth of city damage, man. Y'all can. Nine out of 11 clues found. I beg your pardon. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. I thought I got all the, cl the clues, bro. This is not good. Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire team's checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. Ho, oh, boom. Weapons company. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them We in are it. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. Miss Lichtman, how long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arikeo, Vona Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Hey, 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 hey! Elsa, you better tell this man. Hey, 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 he getting a little too comfortable. Elsa. Hey, you better.
better tell this man. I don't like that. You Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something That's about the problem crazy. with colorful characters, Peterson. First, they send you over a drink. Then they buy you dinner. Then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm going to run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. Mm. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's going to get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? I still don't like how he was talking to old girl. Like, she need to tell that boy something, bruh. All right? He getting a little too comfortable, bruh. I don't like that pushing up on my boy Cole Phelps woman, Thanks man. You patch up, You done lost your mind, man. Might be the only R&R &R I get for some time. Like, calling the press. Like, else, bro, tell that boy something, bro. Like, listen, Jack, I rock with you. You're tough. You're cool. I like your character. But, hey, you're pushing up on the wrong side, bucko. Push off. I still stand on what I said, man. I don't know how y'all feeling about it, but I just feel like he he just he just getting a little too close. You feel you feel you 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 feel me, you feel me. I don't even know where I'm going if I'm be honest with y'all. Remember me, Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door, Jack. There's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, mm. how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? Man. I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <laughs> Pistol whip his head. Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Now you better not move so much as a niche, all right? Oh, you ain't never been hit like that before. <laughs> or allow me to introduce myself. I'm Mr. Tear That Ass Up, all right? You do so much as look at me funny, I'm going to tear that ass up. All right, now let me have a look around your place. Uh. Interesting music selection here. You got a nice place here, I ain't gonna lie. Ooh, you got a nice bar. I could definitely pour myself a drink. I don't know, though. You might have some stuff that might hit hard, bro. I ain't trying to be a little woozy and let you get the jump on me. Yeah, what you got in here? Oh! oh how you doing? How old are you, princess? 16. Oh, hell no! How old are you, really? Nearly 13. Hey, no! Ah, oh, hell no! You're going to jail! You're going to jail! You're going to jail! You You're going to jail! You can find it as you get older. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis! Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? <laughs> Look like you don't know Jack, huh? Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. She will only come back. We gonna find a way to lock your sick ass up. We gonna find a way to lock your sick ass up. 
I ain't even much gonna lie to you. You're not getting away with all this, bro. All right? You think, you think, you think you got it all figured out. I'm trying to tell you, you don't know Jack. I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure out. Either you're gonna go in the box or you're going in a, in, 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 in a cell, bro. One or the other. You, ooh, you sick, you sick son of a bitch. Boy, I can't believe this. Boy, I can't believe this. Oh, hell no, nah, boy. What exactly boy. do you expect to find, Jack? I don't know. I'm finna look around and see what I can find. He was giving her liquor. Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. Is that everything? Is that everything I could look at? Oh, hold on. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Get out while you can. I'm hearing you. What does you feel? I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Mm. Now I know why. Mmm. Got to dig out here. Hey, you better not move out there either. Just make it show, just make it show, just make it show. And what is this? Mmm. Get all of the stockholders. I need to follow the paper trail. <sighs> Boy. What else you got around here? Sick bastard. I guess that's everything. Now let's go ahead and have this talk. I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. You're not a violent man. Anyways. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah? You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? Oh, you don't know what bribe. How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? All right. So what's this then? What's this right here? What's this right the here? Share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and you. your cronies. How do I tell you? We'll see about that, Jack. Oh, you think you just got it all figured tell out, Tell me huh? about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. Nah. Nah, Curtis. You're holding out. You're holding out. You're lying, Curtis. You're holding out. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Are you kidding me? You, so you, you think I'm just going to be at... Listen, I got you. Kurt, you, 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 you caught red-handed. The fire in life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. <laughs> Kurt, my boy, how do I tell big you? We're going to get you in jail. We're going to get you in jail. It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? I'd have smacked the shit out of you right now. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, I, I really Give ought Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. 
Yeah, I got Your some unfortunate accidents. California accident. isn't the <laughs> same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. We on his ass, bro. He not getting away with this. Especially for, for that bullshit he had in his bedroom. I ain't gonna lie. That's just sick as hell. Sick as hell. You're going downtown, and I'm gonna find a way to get you there, bucko. Best believe that. Best believe that. Take another step I'm just going up way. to my office party. Got to check over some files. Office. Take the elevator. Okay. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Go ahead and do my thing. Oh yeah. Sam's taking me out. I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out. I can't believe that shit, bro. He don't see nothing bad about what he's doing at all, bro. Like he's just that sick. It's crazy. Okay, so. Okay. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? Thirty-four degrees, four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. I have a detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more. Direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semprify. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. Sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with the Lesion Fields developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The medal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Oh, yeah. We're going to shut all this down, bro. It's so corrupt around here, bro. We're going to shut this shit down. Hello there. The land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. 
just up the stairs. You ain't say to the left, to the right, nothing, nothing. Just, just up the stairs. Like, all the way up the stairs or what, bruh? Land over it. Just, oh, okay. What, whatever. <laughs> I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Oh, never mind. I thought we was going that way. I guess we're going this way. <laughs> Ain't shit here. Oh. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Uh. See. Courtney. Sheldon. For God's Sheldon. Sake. Sheldon. What's he got to do with this? Sheldon. Hmm. I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. I believe that is in the Wilshire area. Here. 34 oh, degrees. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh. Four minutes. The lot number is 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. Good grief. <laughs> All right. 1876988. 20. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. 21. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle. You are in business. You do this every day? I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it every day. I couldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> Let's see what the site is worth to them. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? Oh, shoot! Y'all gonna do this in the building like in a nice establishment like this? Go why I plump for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Talk your shit. Talk your shit, Jack. Because they don't know Jack. They don't know Jack. Who that creeping up on me? They don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you right now, you you you, you come around that corner, but ah! look, guns. one of your boys already gone. They already gone. Don't do nothing foolish, man. You can still you can still leave with your life to leave with your life today, bro. Real clear. Oh, I'm gonna find you. Shit, that's a big gun. Weapons on the ground. Now. That hurt on it. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't hide. Oh my goodness, bro. Would you shut the hell up and die? Look at this. All that damn heavy breathing and shit. Damn, I can't open this door. Drop him down. I may be an officer of the law. Yeah. But before that, boy, how'd I tell you I was doing my motherfucking thing in the war? Let's see if I can put one right between your eyes. Try it. Try it, Bucko. Try it. Try it. Try it. Try it, man. Try it. I'm not one of them. I'm not going for none of that, bruh. I'm built different. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. You, you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, 
I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. I'm coming. I hello, hello. Jack kind of lucky got that shit on. I ain't gonna lie to you, hello. Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea. You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You come? I might. <laughs> hey, that boy Jack standing on business. No, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I don't. I ain't want to say it. I ain't want to say it. But my boy Jack only been in the picture for about thirty minutes, and he's standing on more business than Cole. Now listen, I know that's kind of crazy, right? But listen, cause Cole kind of like the nice guy. He want you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Cole stand on business, but the way Jack been standing on business, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, he just took all the aura away from uh 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 Cole. I ain't even much gonna lie to you. This man, Jake, ain't with none of the games, bro. None of the bull. I ain't, and he be talking this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with Cole still. That's still my boy. Don't get it twisted. Cole's still my dog. But Jack been real fun to play as. I ain't much gonna lie to you. I rock with both of them, bro. This is fire. I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pelelu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's OK, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Oh, this is tough. Huh. He's done. Keep your head down. I got you. Never mind. You got yourself. You got yourself. I'm pushing up. He down. Come on. Come on, throw out the gun. 
Got him! Got him again! I'm going upstairs. I ain't going upstairs. Reload! Got him! Push it upstairs. Oh shit! Almost out. Need a new weapon. He's down. I got I got his ass laid over the rail. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. I think not. I think not. I think not. Oh, I thought somebody else was right here. Let's let that bitch loose then! Let that bitch loose then! Come on! Come on! Stay down, damn it! Oh, we did that! Oh, we did that! Oh, we did that! You still alive, but... Watch out, gang! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Put the weapon down now! All right, watch, just, just hold on! I got this! I got this! I got this! It hurt though to hit him in the elbow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not this way. Maybe this way. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. With my team. With my team. Ooh. He just dodged it. Christ. Just missed. Sheesh. He's not in here, bruh. Keep looking. Yeah! Don't do it, lady. <laughs> lady, lady, just give it up. Ah, send your eyes. Ah, these You're bullets is ready to eat. looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Oh! Sit your ass there! Shot me in my good arm, bro. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. All right. Monroe, where are you, damn Where you at, boy? All that hot. Yeah! You called me high for so long. Come on out. I heard you. Kind of shit, but he was eating bullets. Ooh. Weapons on the ground now. I guess you might, you might be hiding upstairs. Oh shit. Who want it? Who want these shells? Who want these shells? Come on. Your turn, bucko. Come on up. So anyways. Oh, we good. We good. We good. I guess we're going in here. And I guess we're going in here. Jack Kelso. <laughs> my opening negotiating position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't with none of them Crazy games, man. Son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. See how Jack be standing on Benny? Just what I'm saying. Listen, like I said, I rock with Cole, but Cole more like a, a, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I can't find a word right now. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm talking about, though. Like, he ain't going to come in and do all that right there. He's going to try to talk to the guy, see if he can, you know what I'm saying, reason with him. And then if, if, if this guy attacks him, then Cole will do some action. But no, Jack came in, standing on business. Straight like that. I ain't playing none of your games, bro. You better tell me what I want to know is going to get bad for you. I rock with that, bro. I rock with that heavy. That man Jack standing on business. Hey, what is this right here? The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. <laughs> Fuck you, Jack. <laughs> Call me an ambulance already. I like the way you big, Huffer. I like the way you big. Stay there and bleed. 
Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Oh, damn! Fight back! Fight back, Corden! Fight back! Oh, man. Let them go. Let them... drift away. It's just crazy what's going on around here. Oh, what you got up in here? Well, I'll be. That's a hell of a payroll. Hey, shut that noise up, bro. You're going to be all right, bro. I think, even if not, I'm who cares? I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. <laughs> Insane. <clears throat> You dirty bastard. <laughs> you dirty bastards, man. Oh, man. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock Vice and key. squad. This is your insurance. Oh, man. <laughs> I freaking knew it, bro. Did I tell you shut all that noise up, man? Well, I'm missing it, though. Look at everything. Close that. Yeah, that's everything right there. Oh, wait. I think it's on the disc. There we go. See, we got some crossed out names here, bro. You want to explain? You want to explain? Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. Mm. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Oh, Dead? no. Huh? Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he name went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked as a bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. Ah, that's what I'm talking about, Jack. That's Get what we rock with, Jack. Get me a goddamn doctor! 
Yeah, scoot your little, scoot your stinking ass over there. We rock with Jack, bro. We rock with Jack. Jack tough, bro. Jack tough. Okay, cool. We got all the clues. Fifty-seven dollars worth of vehicle damage. Get, 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 get out of here! Get out of here with that bull. Jack, there's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side. Of the Christ, what was that? Explosion. Damn! Hey, think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. You want to head towards the cloud? It's insane! It's insane! Get out the way! Oh, you dead? Call hey, everybody calm down! Everybody calm down! Jeez! I'm trying to get on the shade! Hey, everybody just looting, boy. It's sad. Don't make no sense. around the corner. Cut them or put them down. We need to get this area under Oh, it ain't. How do I tell you? When Ville on the scene, it ain't no cuffing them, boy. They going down. Uh-huh. Oh, you know I'm on his ass. You know I'm on his ass. You ain't going to jail! You going to sleep! For good! The commander will want us at the scene. Let's go. Scums? Huh. Jesus. I never seen nothing like that. I ain't never I seen this either. the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Damn! Get delayed somewhere? I have no idea what building that was. <laughs> what in God's name happened here? It wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. Look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? Who can afford one of those things? Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. All right. Jeez, bro. Worlds turn upside down, Cole. Then it's, it's time getting, for us to do our job. It's getting wicked, bro. It's getting wicked. They That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think oh, it went okay. Help anything, is it? A couple of pickups. Doesn't sir, give me anything to go on. I figured. <laughs> He's ever done this before. We'll get better with practice. Make the hell out of my way. goes for me too, son. Should have played it a little more. Son. What do you think, son? Uh, Jeez. No. Mayor, you Bro, this is what kind of bomb? Very resolute. I don't think this is gonna help anything either, is it? Optimistic, Cole. Damn. Phelps, I think I found something over here. What you found, man? Looks like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. All right, well, that's something, I guess. It's not much, but... Detective, hey. you seen this yet? Come take a look. Blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we've got in here. Damn, okay. Oh, there's that. Okay, Only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Okay. What's this? Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. Tomoko Akamato. Japanese name. Hmm. 
I meant to grab this paper right here. I already looked at this. I meant to grab this paper. There we go. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Not really. Maybe. I used them in OCS. Oh, shit. Okay, let me see. Uh... These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. It's an address. 133 North Vermont Avenue. Hey, detective! I think I got something here. Any idea what this is? A very large egg cup? A Viking helmet? How would I know, Phelps? Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. Huh. All right, well, I guess that is everything. I guess. I don't know if there's something else here. It just is what it is, bro. I searched all through the rubble, all that I could find. I don't Fred know. <laughs> this is your place? I don't know. What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. All right. Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. Man, you better give me the information I want to know, bro. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor-intensive. The process could be worth millions. Who is Tamako Akamato? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. And I don't know how about that right there, man. Industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? The goddamn camera? Like, what you mean? <laughs> How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies, but the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. Is it? Is it? Is it legitimate research? So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do? You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was... A train <laughs> and his ideas <clears throat> could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks, and God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamoto's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way. We also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. All right. I guess we're going to the next stop. I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you driving. <clears throat> you think give me a second, old oh, big. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on oh, big. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me do, let me do this phone call real quick. Detective Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. 
It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside, P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire, 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. Oh, come on, let's get a move on, man. Oh, hold on. Number one. All right, bit. Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? Damn, big homie, watch out! <laughs> watch out. Oh, Lord. Well, somebody didn't already toss the place. What we got over here? So, better watch your step. Well, you know what this is, Biggs? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Mm. Jeez. Lick all on the floor. I say we take some of this. Probably uh, nothing. For police reasons. <clears throat> no saying. Um, anyways. Damn, blood all on the jeez. What you see in here? You see here, OG? Boy, they tossed the shit out of this place. Oh, here goes another one of those things. Looks like we have a match. Hmm. Interesting dame, this well, What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Rod must have amazing eyesight. Hmm. See nothing in the kitchen. Oh. Oh, well. You think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. Oh, they look like he took a shotgun blast maybe to the chest, jinkies. Man. Could be a class ring. Hmm. What else we got? What else do we got? It's a watch. On James Lindbergh. Very expensive watch, favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's <laughs> funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. Hey, OG, we can tell, man. <laughs> we can tell. All right. <clears throat> one to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. Psst. And I can't search the torso? Right, just making sure. This is the left arm, right arm. Biggs, edge 525. Yeah. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. Probably a team from technical services as well. Well, damn. That might just be everything for this location, I guess. Oh, man. Well, then we could have did for him. All right, let's go ahead and move. What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Damn, what the fuck? What did I dare call that? Uh, Jeez. 620, Cole. What the, why, why you just turn up on me like that, bro? What did I do? Jeez, boy. All right. Who is it? Angstrom. Could be someone else from the factory. 
Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. Rude ass, bro! Dang! Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch 1247. Messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Thank you. All right. Come on, OG. Shit. Use aircraft. Big homie, you're driving. How do I tell you? Can you drive to this one? This is a military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, Detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, Biggs. You're not still with the LAPD. Right so, mates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hang. You can't miss it. Who is Mapes? That's a nice car right there. connection That's to a, Howard Hughes? I want that. Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck pads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model for creeps like Earl. Mmm. I still want this car though, I ain't gonna lie to you. Low key, I, 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 I want it. I want it. Follow me. Good day, miss. How you doing? Can that thing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? So, this is the spruce. Goose. Jesus Christ, Biggs! You want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Straight to the point. <laughs> kid, fire away. Say less. You ain't got to tell me twice. <clears throat> Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. <laughs> but you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Do you know Tomoko Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? How you knew it was a woman? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them from my days on the force. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. Question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? 
Oh, that's real easy. That's real easy. That's real easy. <laughs> you might shit your pants for real this time. <laughs> you might just shit your pants for real. We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Oh, you ain't got to tell me twice. Can't hurt. Damn. Dang. Dang. Move. Move. I got it. Would you get out my way? Let's see what we got here. What's this? Doesn't look like anything. Right. Look at this right here. I don't think this is going to help us. All right. Nothing over here. Not the liquor bar. Got some photos. Hold on. That is Marie the Body McDonald. <laughs> that's how you. That's how she got she you feeling, OG. Contract to RKO. Yeah, I bet he does. Another photo. Somebody coming through with a big ass truck. Yeah, man. Oh, Lord. Nothing significant. Hmm. So, is that everything? I think that's everything. I did not mean to do that twice. Is that a Pratt and Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know sure your motor. Sure is. <laughs> take a look at the prop spinner. We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it. All right, let me see this. Let me see this. Mm. What is the oily covering on the metal? Well, we coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Appreciate you. And what do we got over here? Mm. Oh, this that oil, well, huh? This process was going to replace all this. He messed up when he told me to have a look around. How do I tell you? He done messed up. All I needed was the green. All I needed was the green to have a look around. And boy, how do I tell you we own that ass? We own that ass. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude 76 degrees, 0 minutes west. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's something I gotta do. <laughs> ah! 6 degrees west. Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey, don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you got the wrong guy, Vernon. All right. You're behind the wheel. So McClellan was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. This would never go all the way up to Hughes. You would have middlemen. Someone like Mapes. The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes.
All right, everybody. <clears throat> I think that we're going to end this one right here for now. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, hear me out. At least it's not on a crazy cliffhanger, all right? Not on a crazy cliffhanger, all right? We getting deep into this, though. Stuff is getting real. Stuff is hitting the fan. It's getting serious real quick, all right? Something's about to go down. I don't know what yet, but I just know we're going to be ready for whatever it is, all right? All right? It's a lot. It's, a, it's, 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 it's something big coming. I just know it. I can feel it. All right? I can feel it. I just hope nothing gonna happen to my dog Cole or my dog Jack or or even Lil Elsa, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just hope everything gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? I just hope. You feel me? You feel me? It all works out in the end. You feel me? Even 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 OG Biggs, man, he kind of cool, bro. He may not do too much work. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he right. yeah, all right, bro. He kind of remind me of old Rusty, just a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, though, man, um, that's going to be the end of that. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. I'm not going to lie. This, this is pretty fire. The storyline is getting pretty fire. Uh, yeah, this, this is a good game right here, man. This is this is, this is, this is a good game. I, I feel like it's actually pretty good that uh, we didn't finish it at the time we were doing this game. Because, I don't know, it just feels so much better now. I can't explain exactly what it is, but it, it, just, it just feels so much better now. But, yeah, though, bro, I'm at this thing, bro. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Let me know you guys' thoughts about everything that's going on, uh, your theories or whatever. Whatever y'all may have, your ideas, let me know, man. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Um, but, like I said, that's for now. That is the end of this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed all that. If so, make sure you guys obliterate that like button. Drop comments down below what y'all thought. Hit that bell so y'all get notifications for one of the posts. All those good, amazing things, everybody. Um, like I said, let me know what y'all think fit to happen, bro. <laughs> OG Biggs, calm down. Ain't nobody gonna hurt me, bro. You ain't gonna... <laughs> <coughs> Jeez, <coughs> my bad, beast. You ain't gotta crowd me though, man. Um, yeah, though. Let me know what y'all think is gonna go down here, bro. You feel me? It's getting real good. Um, that's all I had to say, though, bro. I might this thing. Love and appreciate all y'all, man. And as always, I'm gonna catch all you beautiful people up in the next one.